they rushed inside and brought this one. So this is the miracle, the miracle center. Yes, sir. Mr. Kumar, what it means, people do not know. You can run a party without stressing anybody. If members could pay their dues. There are people who pay dues. Mr. Kumar, nobody pays anything. When we came, we met, we were given 40 million naira. Do you know what I 40 million, Mr. Governor. We met of 15 million. 40 minus 15, 25. And somebody said, in this money to run the National Party, I said, Deus Providevit. God provides. And what is written, is written. Paul Scripsy, Scripsy. What you need to succeed in life is God. Once you have God, be in companionship with God. Have faith. Work hard with resilience. You will attain your goals. I think that's what is driving Mr. Government. We started this project because we saw your vision. Your vision was to make Anambra State a livable home, home what? I don't know how you call it. Homeland. Okay, you know, I don't want, it's not my, it's created it. So I will have to seek permission because of copyright. So it's a livable and prosperous homeland. So, Building this city structure, we have to align with your vision. That's what we have here. And it has also got to prove, Mr. Governor, that you can trust us. Don't give us an assignment. We deliver. I have less than one and a half years to go. And I want to achieve this project. Send a helper. That will come to Macedonia and help us. I started, he didn't know anything, I didn't, I didn't met him. We did the whole drawings, Mr. Governor. I did the designing, everything I wanted, I finished everything. I, called, I, I did this 3D. I gave to him. I said, This is what our interview is. That I will be the consultant. So we're not paying any consultancy fee. <laughs> <laughs> and we started. Mr. Governor, two weeks ago, nothing was ready here. I told him we would day and night to produce this. And we did. That is EEDC. We have brand new transformers. We brought light immediately. We did the electric wire. We did the fence. Here is very messy. It's a, it's a, we have to do returning walls to tie the whole thing. Then we have the generator house. Mr. Governor, this generator house was built in nine days. Then we have the water tank, the water stand. It's standing on six pillars. Solid pillar, because here is a dangerous place. So we have to work on it critically. And it's, it's, it, we have ten tanks on top, ten. Then, the state chairman said he will not move it to the old office. <laughs> he must move it to the future. <laughs> because Mr. Governor, that was the, was a part of a twin duplex. Two rooms down, three rooms up. I said, I can't go to press from here. That we must give Abka a permanent abode in Abuja. We have the abode of 4,000 square meters. Having secured Abuja, we must take Akonoba home, Akururo. How can Abuja be operating from a rented property in the place the party was born? I don't find it funny. That was why this thing started.
and we have completed it. Here we have five floors. One floor of 11 rooms and 13 toilets. 13 toilets per floor. Every office here has is a suite, it has a toilet. So the party in the state will take one floor. The regional office, the regional party, the national chairman that will emerge tomorrow will have an office here. He needn't have to operate from his house. He should operate from here. So the national chairman stroke the region, the regional or zonal officers will operate from one floor. Then the other three floors will be rented out to generate money to maintain this place. Mr. Governor, because of uh, how expensive diesel is, we decided to look for alternative power supply and we went solar. Our solar panels are up there and we have 20 batteries that can power seven air conditioners. I mean, standing air conditioners, seven. And all the power points, fans and everything. So, because of you now, we are doing that. So, you have power. Who for seven? We don't ask for this. The governor give me money for this. We don't want to disturb our governor. So, Mr. Governor was in person. The delay is sudden. That I will finish the landscaping, the, the green area and everything. You will love the place. Mr. Governor, that one was started by Obiano and abandoned. Got your back. You don't have to fear anything. You are God's chosen. God chose you. No weapon of any sort formed against you that will prosper. Ah! If I give no serious, then you can say no. If I give no serious, nobody can say no. You are a product of God's love. And that is why he made the Aki. When I can, he made the Aki. He told me a word rose, they said 11 billion. I said, for me. Are you a magician? God bless you, our government. Amen. Your presence in Africa has been a great inspiration. Do not abandon us. No, I'm only speaking. I know you cannot abandon us. I have to say it now. You know, do not to become president. Didn't I say it? It has happened. You are the man of the future. You know, Mr. Governor, that is the little I can say. I have the best NWC. All the inducements to them to abandon the act, they rejected it. But that was why we have been altruistic in managing the scarce resources available to us. And that's why we laid this foundation. If you are coming, you have a floor. So you're not going to pay rent any longer. Just as we don't pay rent again in Abuja. We are going to work in collaboration with the new national chairman. We going to have an office here. We will operate from here, operate from Abuja. Me, I operate from four homes. I put that. I'm all of them. Oh my head. That's how I operate.
Uh, Mr. Governor, some people will say everything will work, will work out fine for you. But I, will, I wish to advise you, you must be prudent and transparent. If you are not prudent and transparent, you cannot achieve anything. If you keep thinking about yourself, you have said, I want to buy a new car, build a new house, you will not achieve anything. That was why when I came, I looked at the old place, 40 million, okay, no problem, this is what we can do. God leading us. We have to cut down on our personal needs and place the pot in the front corner. That's what we do. So, Mr. Governor, it was easy for me as national chairman to build something like this, as well put my name. Is it not better like this one? This one is better now. Because if you take this one and put your name over there, you'll be living in hellfire while you're on earth. Because you now I'm saying that you have a day to have fun. Mr. Governor, those who have seen this will say all they have said about oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know that's my name, it's only over here. Those three letters. Do not allow me to rest. Governor Solude is S O L U D O five. And all this over here, Trump. Okay, go. We, we, go. Mr. Governor, I'm very, very happy to thank you. Uh, one now, go on. Five years and three months. I don't know if you can like it. I don't know if you can like Mr. Governor, you're a wise man. Like, yeah, you do emotional. But did that shit. About you. But for me, Mr. Governor, people are praying for you. I know our streets. I know I know. I know Before us, I know our lives. I know our parties. I know our lives. I know our lives. I know I know our lives. 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 I know our to unveil history, building to last. Number one, and our gratitude. As you were speaking, I was getting emotional. Of the rich man who was going on errand and gave some little. The one that was giving little in the Bible went and buried it. <laughs> but here you were. You were given little. You did not bury. The little was multiplied thousand times over. We have come to say to you and to the NWC, leadership of the party under you, we are grateful. We are grateful. And we will remain very, very grateful. History, you're written your name and your names, not just gold, in platinum. In the history of political parties in Nigeria, you have written your names in platinum. See, we can spend the whole day expressing our gratitude given the context, given the circumstances which you came, given the Nigerian factor of what people understand to be leadership. People look for the opportunity, the seat for their own. You got the seat, you occupy the seat, 
in order to live the place better than you imagine. That is the public purpose. That is the public purpose for public service. Living the place, living history, living it better than we met it. Today, we've come to say we are grateful. I mean, saying it might sound is only that there is no other word for gratitude. Because you have done what Goliath couldn't do. Bigger parties that came before us, before Afghan. <laughs> I don't know where they are. I don't know what they have. But I used to know one of them. I used to go to one rented apartment in Abuja. Yes, when people are looking for, I know during the um, nomination process, people pay to buy some forms. Some political parties realize well over 10 billion and much each four years. But go back after a few months and ask where all those have gone. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Here we are, the All Progressives Grand Alliance. The only grand alliance of the progressives in Nigeria. Today, we not only have a national headquarters that is our own property, we now have a five, oh, oh, okay, if you include the ground floor, now you have a five. The ground floor, the first, the second, the third, the fourth, five floor building as a monumental regional office that is also our own property. When you think that Africa, in terms of the frugality of the management of the mega resources that are passed through the National Secretariat vis-a-vis -vis the assets of the party in comparison with other political parties without going to do have an audited account of anybody else it's I think back of the envelope and knowing what we know about elsewhere I think it is fair to assert that you met the party as a tenant. Today, you are leaving the party, not just as a landlord, but a very wealthy landlord. I want to complete that scenario, that a proper evaluation of the assets will no doubt leave Africa as the wealthiest political party in Nigeria today. I can speak from here till tomorrow, but there will be a time, many time to come in the future to properly express our gratitude. And I want to say to you, um, you are asking me not to leave up, and I'm saying to you, as a chairman, as a chairman, even if you want to leave us, we will not let you leave us. <laughs> this one is not don't leave us. That even this is no longer in your hands, whether to leave or not to leave, because as you want to leave, you will not be looking back. We will hold your leg. <laughs> you have to stay. This party, you've, you've, I don't know. 
I don't want to sound, you know, because as you repeat it, it begins to lose weight. But I think the history books will be a proper testimony. And to all those of you who worked with him, the National Working Committee, yes, the third one of you, it's a testament to the character, integrity, drive of the members of this Working Committee that we are able to achieve all of this. Were it otherwise, were it otherwise, it will not be possible. If any, every day you come to the office, the other party come there and be saying, all we are saying, share the money. <laughs> all we are saying, share the money. And you tell them you are going to, uh, we have to pay for class then, share the money. If they, by the time they shout it, two, three uh, weeks, two, three months. You have to share the money. Eh? Yeah. Now that's the pain of most other political parties. And in fact, part of what we've come here to celebrate and express our gratitude is that this NWC, under your leadership, has won everything on Nigeria. Everything on Nigeria. In terms of attitude to public resource, attitude to political party, things have changed. Things have changed. And it is a lesson for all of us at the lower levels. I wish someday we will have opportunity to have the world chairman, local government leadership, leaders at the world level, leaders at the local government level. Now we have at least our number working committee, most of them are here today. Coming here and going to Abuja should become part of regular pilgrimage. Because people might have some inspiration about what political party is all about. And that gets me to my second and last point, building to last. Building to last, which is very un-Nigerian. If you look at political parties today, when I started my own political party journey, which by August this year, I'll be 43 years. 1980, August, we formed the Women Movement and that was my entry into partisan politics. And that is why this is a very important lesson about building to last. Today, in every ward, we have part of the officers include financial secretary, treasurer, even auditor. We have auditors at the ward, at the local government, at the state. At that world level, you've provided leadership. You've shown examples. It's not just to talk about it, you've lived it. Because this will become an example. This will become a, I mean, I, I pity those who come in after. Stay, if you stay in your rent, we're not too sure. Um, if it does, does it look like a party in a haste or a retreat? Legacy of the outgoing 
National Working Committee of the party, to this magnificent edifice of the regional head office of the All Progressive Grand Alliance. We already have our own property in Abuja, our national headquarters, also courtesy of this um, 31 member national, um, uh, national Working Committee, led by our ever national chairman, um, Chief Doctor Victor Ikeoi. To the glory of God, we open this and this magnificent entity will lead Africa to serve humanity, serve Nigeria, serve the East, and serve the world till the end of time. Amen. Progressive Grand Alliance Africa was commissioned by the National Leader, Excellency Charles Chukwu Masoluto, Governor of Anambra State, and built by the leadership of Osombo Dr. Victor Ikoye, National Chairman and his NWC. This is the 30th day of May 2023. To the glory of God. Thank you, man. Focus. Hey, don't be shit. 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 Foc